ear cropping, we take the ears up in a cup and then the cups must stay on for two weeks. However, people don't seem to be able to keep the cups on, so this is how to retape them. This is like rubber cement, or this isn't rubber cement itself, it's actually ostomy glue for people. You can get this at a pharmacy that sells surgical products for people. So I'm putting a little bit of this glue on each side of the ear, the inside and the outside, but not on the stitches, so that uh, the tape will stick a little better. So that's the kind of glue. It's bonding cement. Then I'm taking athletic tape, which since they've changed the manufacturing from the United States to other places, doesn't stick anymore, however. Uh, and I put it right up along the edge there. And the purpose of this is to keep the edges straight when they're healing. Otherwise, the edges will tend to crinkle down. That's why the ears must stay up in the cups. So I have the inside piece of tape longer than the outside piece. It's stuck to the outside piece. It sandwiches the ear in between. And this is going to go over the cup like that to hold them straight. So we simply, all we do is sandwich the ears between two pieces of tape, putting it very close to the suture line, but not on the stitches, so that it will hold them straight during the healing process. See, on t there on top, this is the longer piece with the sticky side on the out. Um, then I've taken a cup. It's simply a plastic cup, and I've taped cotton to it, and I've taped around it for strength because the plastic cups are flimsy. They're probably not made in the United States either anymore. I've cut out a piece to go over this part of the head, so it's shaped, it's shaped to the head. And then I pull both ears evenly and up straight and tight over the cups, over the cup. They've got to be tight and straight or the cup will come loose. So I pour, pull them tight and straight over the cup and they stick to the top of the cup. This little piece is going to flip to the other side of that ear. I don't want it on the cut edge of the ear, so I'm turning. So then this holds the ears up very straight, and there's a lot of tension on there, hence the cotton, so that the tape doesn't dig into the ears. This athletic tape is really crummy. Do we have the waterproof tape? No, nobody's here. Alright, so I'm, all I'm doing is putting tape over the front to hold the ears a little steady up against the cup. It just is a little bit of support. You cannot put tape around the cut edges. Everybody wants to do that. You put tape on the cut edges, you'll make the edges necrose or die. So this tape is nothing more than stabilizing 
the ears a little bit on the cup. So, and I'll put some tape down here at the bottom. It's too late. <laughs> I've done it. We're getting some waterproof tape. So, there it is. Now, the cup can wiggle. The cup uh, can wiggle a little bit, but it's, it's basically tight. A little lopsided. That doesn't matter. This one should have been a little tighter. You can tighten it by simply pulling up like that and putting it over the top. That tightened it so that now it's not so lopsided. And then I put one other piece. These two pieces, this is what's holding the ears onto the cup. Not this, only that's holding the ears. But to keep them onto the cup, I put another piece of tape over the top so that if the cup gets too loose, you can pull that back, pull, pull the flap up, stretch up the ear, and it will be tight. Okay, so both ears are up. Now, because the dog's going to come along and... Scratch the ears with an e-collar or play with another dog, even though I tell them not to. Um, th then he's going to scratch open the stitches in a couple of days. So we then put an e-collar on. Show. There's no tape around the back and no need to tape around the back. We got it stabilized with cotton back here. And then the e-collar will actually sort of press forward onto the cup so that it's got the proper tension. It won't fall backwards. We're going to put this all the way to the end. It is. Oh. Soft e-collars don't work. Round e-collars don't work. you got to really protect the dog's head from hind paws, back paws, from rolling over on his back, groveling into the earth and uh, this one isn't in okay that's that's basically it then the puppy has to keep this on for two weeks until the stitches come out and he the tapes should not come off but if they do, now you know how to put them back. You can buy your own cup at the grocery store. You can buy athletic tape and wrap around the cup. Reinforce it, cotton on the bottom. And uh, then put the e-collar back on. Okay. Okay. Stop.